Dear Mothers of the World, Hello, my name is Panagios Papaglias and I'm a member of Youth Horizons from Megara in Greece. Youth Horizons is a youth organization which aims to bring more and more people closer with the European initiatives. This video is a product of the European Erasmus Plus project named In Mom We Trust. The main aim of this project is to bring more women that they would like to become mothers or even mothers with the European initiatives and to get familiar with the European Erasmus Plus projects. Through this video, today, we will learn about what means non-formal education. However, in order to fully understand what non-formal education is about, we will discuss also about the other two types of education. So, what education is about? Imagine an umbrella, an umbrella with three branches. The first branch is called formal education. The formal education is that education which we, as individuals, we followed since we were young. It was named school in the beginning, afterwards high school, afterwards university. So it's what we call obligatory education and it's the type of education that we are gaining through these institutions. Now we are going to the second branch, which is informal education. Informal education is the education and the information that you are gaining throughout your lifetime when you are not planning for it. For example, let's uh, imagine yourselves that you are scrolling through your YouTube feed and you are stepping on this video. And like that, you are starting to learn about Erasmus Plus videos. Well, this is included in informal education and it's the education that you and the information you gained without planning for it. And now let's step to the last part of our small short video, which is called non-formal education, which is the main force of these European Erasmus Plus projects. European Erasmus Plus projects are using the types of non-formal education, and this is why it's so important to emphasize on it. Non-formal education is still education, however, it's an education that we choose to follow. Well, all the events implemented by European Erasmus Plus projects are happening and taking place voluntarily and it's not obligatory to be attended from someone. What do I mean by that? Well, in non-formal education scenarios, we don't have the vision and the picture of a typical classroom. We have participants and we have a trainer. However, those people are coexisting and making an event voluntarily in a pure collaborative spirit. It's more interactive and it also uh, has more dialogue between the trainer and the participants. That's why we're using those also meanings. We have a teacher and a student in the case of a classroom in formal education. However, we have a participant and a trainer in the non-formal education, which is also included in Erasmus Plus projects. We really hope you found this uh, video helpful and we really uh, would like to have some comments. Please send them below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.